Hi, I'm Glenn, Surveillance Fishing, and this round we're going to talk about fishing flies. So uh, uh, we taught a bunch of flies the other day, uh, put together what we like uh, using, particularly in the Blue River, um, as well as uh, different uh, places we've fished up in Oklahoma, as well as down in uh, South Texas over there by the Guadalupe River. So here's what we have, and what we're going to do is trying to give you an idea of some of the things we're going to plan on bringing this next round when we go up to hopefully the Blue River. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and go through these real quick. Okay, so over here are some olive near deer. Over here are some woolly bugger. Here's some dry flies, parachute flies, more like um, we call them uh, indicator flies. And then over here, just a mix of different... Um, near deer as well as jig type flies uh, over here as well we've got the cork strike indicator right here and so from a streamer standpoint that's what we like having uh, all of woolly buggers uh, the near deer uh, variations of these jig flies uh, and that's been a really uh, good one as a lead indicator in a tandem rig um, that's worked really well for us so these are those streamer type flies okay uh, additionally uh, we'll also have some trailing fly, and it'll be typically over here. You've got a gold rib hares ear nymph. Uh, we'll also have a Griffith snack, even though we'll fish them dry, we also fish them wet. So we'll have Griffith snats. Uh, we'll have rainbow warriors over here, as well as some of the midges, zebra uh, in black, as well as red, as well as white. Uh, and then we'll also have. Um, sometimes a, a egg pattern as a trailing fly as well and so that's what we like doing uh, from a tandem rig standpoint additionally we'll use saw tackles right here Use the saw tackles uh, here's some guadalupanas some of them beat up some of them not uh, and those go part of the streamer fly so let's just recap that again real quick while we're um, discussing this we've got these streamer fl flies Jig flies, all of near deer, um, all of our uh, near deer, Guadalupe bannas, and then uh, uh, those trailing flies, gold rib hares ear nymph, rainbow warrior, the Griffiths gnat fished wet, uh, and then the soft tackle. And over here is a little stone fly nymph. Uh, additionally, we'll also uh, use as a lead fly uh, mop flies, those seem to work uh, pretty well. Right here, mop flies. Additionally, uh, we'll also use San Juan worm balls or San Juan worms. So these are San Juan worm balls. Uh, basically, a whole bunch of these chenille, red chenille that look like uh, a bunch of worms kind of hanging together. That worked well over there in the Trinity River when we fished that area over there in Fort Worth when they're stocking it. But we've also used it uh, various places. More of an attractor fly. So the uh, the the trout gets attracted by the fly uh, and then it comes up looks at it and oh by the way it sees that trailing fly uh, could be that gold ribs hair near other kind of nymphs some emergent and then bam you get that hit so uh, that's been a, a good one for us uh, it's the I think the last year we had some uh, fun with uh, stone fly nymphs so we had these various ones here <clears throat> okay so there's one right here it's just kind of hanging over there sinking under an indicator and whatnot and get some strikes there and then uh we're just throwing this one in the mix this is that uh uh wapsy uh foam spider kind of a uh a variant or a kit that makes the bets brim getter uh, we just have that in the fly box since maybe we might go with a hit on top uh this round so we'll just have that in the fly box with us cork strike indicator that's the one that's made out of cork has a little fluorescent uh, painting on there and then you got this o-ring and it doesn't slip and we found that this is our favorite uh, strike indicator so far all right uh some a, a from a, a dry fly standpoint we've got the griffith snack over here uh we keep that handy uh additionally we got some midges these are black uh, really tiny size 18 uh, size 20. we also have some in white uh i think uh an olive uh dun pattern as well and that's been really good for us and then every once in a while uh, we'll pull out the strike indicator fly right here it's kind of beat up uh, we kind of use that as a indicator and then we'll have a trailing fly 
that uh, will get hits on that training fly as well as on the surface with these things. It's a big fly, so sometimes you don't get them. Sometimes you do get them. Uh, but we've been pretty happy with that. Uh, and it was one year we were out on the blue, and there was some kind of emerging fly. Not sure what it was. And we call it the PMC Emerger. Okay, so it um, plain mayfly uh, caddis merger. I, I forgot what we called it, but um, uh, we call it the PMC Emerger. And it's got a little uh, hackle pattern in the middle. It's kind of bent back and has a little indicator foam piece right in the front. And it sits on the surface like this as well as slowly sinks when it gets uh, too wet. Um, and sometimes we'll get, uh, get some really good hits off some trout that way. Alrighty. So that is our uh, what we'll have in our fly box this round. Uh, and while we're there, uh, we may stop at uh, Scotty's and take a look at uh, some of the fish flies there and typically uh, pick up a few there and add. One of our favorite ones that we had in the past that we still had, and I think this is about a 10-year-old one, I'm not sure. It's more like a jig fly type, uh, but it's got some kind of marabou or hair-like pattern, maybe antron with a pretty heavy bead head, and it sinks really well. Sometimes that's been a go-getter for us, this black variant. Um, I, I call it a near deer. Uh, that said, uh, do stay tuned, and hopefully uh, you might see some of these fishing flies out um, uh, in some of our videos, hopefully in the upcoming season. All right, next time we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.